From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. In an earlier episode, we covered the secrecy surrounding unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs in war. Drones are enormously controversial in the international sphere. Countries around the world are particularly concerned with the United States policy of targeted killings, wherein UAVs may launch attacks on individuals or U.S. citizens in foreign countries during times of peace. The evidence and process for choosing these targets remain secret. But there's another side to the drone controversy, and it's occurring on U.S. soil. According to conspiracy theorists, the same tactics used to carry out assassinations half a world away may be on their way to the United States. Here's where it gets crazy. It's true that drones are already used in areas across the United States. Most of these drones are purely surveillance craft used by law enforcement and the Department of Homeland Security, which uses predator drones to keep track of activity along the U.S.-Mexico border. This isn't a conspiracy theory. This part is entirely true. The Border Patrol has been experimenting with drones since the 1990s. Drones can patrol the border much more efficiently. They can also patrol domestic areas with the same efficiency. In fact, law enforcement agencies and drone manufacturers manufacturers have considered upping the stakes, customizing some drones to carry non-lethal offensive weapons. To supporters of drone patrols, the argument is a no-brainer. Yet critics of these programs point out several flaws in the reasoning. Fans of conspiracy theorist Alex Jones are already familiar with the concerns this technology creates, and the specter of an Orwellian world without privacy seems increasingly possible in the next few years. First, technological innovation has outpaced legislation. This means that by the time Congress gets around to regulating the use of drones for surveillance, the UAVs may already be deployed in conducting mass surveillance in every state. Second, it's already been proven that drones can be hijacked. This technology is not necessarily secure, and it's easy to imagine what could happen if an armed drone goes rogue over a crowded city. Third, without oversight and transparency, how can citizens know if drones are a tool for protection or a tool of oppression? Theorists are far from the only folks with these concerns. Advocacy groups such as the ACLU see domestic drones as a slippery slope to privacy violations on a massive scale, creating a society in which every individual's move is subject to scrutiny. Consider the implications. Could we be facing a future filled with networking drones? If this occurred, then the old standby argument, if you're not doing something wrong, then why are you worried, simply won't hold up. The accumulated information could easily be relayed to data miners and sold to corporations. To mainstream drone critics, this is a frightening possibility. But some theorists believe this is already well on the way to becoming a reality. Imagine a world in which your every waking move is tracked by networks of drones, some of which are armed in case you attempt to attack them or commit a crime. For now, this dystopian vision is still safely kept to the realm of science fiction. But for how long? Members of Congress have begun to raise objections to the arming of domestic drones, but at this point it's difficult to tell if these objections will result in concrete law. This secrecy is already present in police departments across the United States. They're accumulating hours of footage, apparently for the protection of citizens. But what are they watching? Who are they watching? And why? That's something they don't want you to know.